good morning let us see today what is called facing mixture what is called facing mixture and polymorphism what is called transition temperature differences between enantiotropy and monotropy okay we first see facing mixture what is called a facing mixture in continuation of our previous uh, potassium iodide water protective system um, we studied this uh, facing mixture uh, similar to that for example addition of salt or let us take let us take in a beaker crushed ice let us take crushed ice in a beaker and uh, put thermometer in it and a glass rod to stir it now measure the temperature note the temperature what is the temperature uh, before adding the salt before adding the salt it is the melting point of ice 0 degree celsius it is the melting point or freezing point of 0 degree celsius addition of salt see addition of salt increase in concentration of salt addition of salt to ice addition of salt to ice decreases the temperature the temperature falls down on adding salt to the ice Okay, decreases the temperature and decreases the freezing point as seen in the as uh, seen in the phase diagram of a potassium iodide ice uh, potassium iodide water system. For example, here on adding potassium iodide to ice, uh, the temperature decreases. Okay, the lowest temperature, see the lowest temperature attained is called the eutectic temperature. Okay, eutectic temperature and the mixture and the uh, this is the eutectic point. The mixture of time is called the mixture of water and the K. The mixture of ice and K. The mixture of salt and uh, ice is called eutectic mixture or freezing mixture. This mixture is called eutectic mixture is called freezing mixture. Okay. The lowest temperature. This is the lowest temperature attained uh, for K ice uh, salt water system. For example, I have shown here Ki ice, the eutectic temperature is minus 23 degrees Celsius we have seen uh, yesterday and uh, in the previous class and the eutectic composition is 52 percent. What is the composition? Uh, 52 percent, that is 52 gram of uh, K. Okay. Now, and uh, for 48 percent water. Similarly, if you add on adding ammonium chloride to ice, on adding ammonium chloride salt to ice okay the lowest temperature lowest temperature attained is minus 16 degrees celsius and its eutectic composition for ammonium chloride is 20 percent of salt okay next we have seen already potassium added ice on adding sodium chloride dot to h2o to ice the temperature falls down the lowest temperature attained is minus 22 degrees celsius and it's uh, the composition is uh, uh, 23 percentage of salt okay as you see what is uh, um, similarly calcium chloride 6 h2 calcium chloride salt and adding to ice the temperature decreases the lowest temperature obtained is minus 56 degrees celsius remember this is the very lowest temperature and uh, even you are adding 52.2 percent of uh, calcium chloride only. You are adding less quantity of, um, whereas here you are adding 52 gram, 52 percent. Here 15.2 only. Okay. So what are the uses of uh, freezing mixtures? Freezing mixtures are used to preserve fish. For example, in fish market, you will, they will have a um, uh, thermocol box. Thermocol box with the ice. Uh, uh, with the salt mixture, ice, uh, ice salt mixture, okay, for example, sodium chloride is added to ice uh, to freeze the temperature, to decrease the temperature to minus 22 degrees Celsius, so that uh, the milk or uh, fish or any other perishable product will not be decomposed, will not be affected. Similarly, uh, freezing mixture is also used to, used to for making ice cream. To make they prepare ice cream uh, in home also they will use to prepare ice cream. Okay, polymorphism. This is a different topic. We'll see in the next topic is polymorphism. What is polymorphism? Different uh, form. Uh, for example, it is the existence of a substance, element, or compound. It is the existence, occurrence of a compound, uh, 
substance or element in more than one crystalline form, in more than one crystalline form with the different uh, physical properties, especially. For example, sulfur rhombic and sulfur monoclinic base. Sulfur it is an element. Sulfur is an element. It occurs in two different crystalline forms: sulfur rhombic, sulfur monoclinic, and uh, diamond and graphite. Allotropic forms of um, diamond. What are the different allotropic forms of diamond? Uh, carbon, diamond, and okay, graphite. There are two allotropic forms of carbon. Okay. Now, what is allotropy? Okay. Allotropy means when it occurs in elements. See, friends. In general, when it occurs in substance, any substance, see, it it is called polymorphism. When the polymorphism occurs in element, when the phenomenon of polymorphism occurs in element, then the, then it is called allotropy. Okay, what are the allotropic forms of sulfur? Sulfur rhombic and sulfur monoclinic. Now, what is the transition temperature? What is the transition temperature? In, uh, under at certain temperature, at certain temperature, sulfur rhombic is converted into sulfur monoclinic. Okay, under certain conditions of temperature. Pressure and temperature. So the temperature at which one form, at the temperature at which one crystalline form changes into another crystalline form, sulfur rhombic changes into another crystalline form, sulfur monoclinic at 95.5 degrees Celsius. This temperature is called the transition temperature for sulfur rhombic to sulfur monoclinic. Okay. Now next we will see what are enantiotropy and monotropy. They are opposite. Enantiotropy and uh, uh, monotropy or opposite. What is enantial tropy? If the process, if this, if this uh, tra transformation process, if this allotropic transformation process, if this uh, polymorphism transformation process is uh, reversible, this is reversible, then, then it is called the enantial tropy. Then the transformation is uh, enantial tropic transformation. Okay. So on heating, remember on heating at 95.5 degrees Celsius, sulfur rhombic is converted into sulfur monoclinic. Now, on cooling, similarly, on cooling, uh, on cooling sulfur monoclinic at 95.6 degrees Celsius at 1 atmosphere pressure, it is converted back to sulfur rhombic. Okay. So, the process, the electrophic transformation process is reversible. If it is reversible, then it is called enantial tropic. Okay. What is monotropy? It is opposite. If the process, if the electrophic transformation process is irreversible, if it is irreversible, for example, the diamond under certain conditions of temperature and pressure, it is converted into graphite. So you should preserve diamond very carefully under certain conditions of temperature and pressure, it is converted into graphite. But it is irreversible. Graphite cannot be converted back to diamond. Okay. So that is called a monotropy. If the process, if the allotropic transformation process is uh, irreversible, it occurs only in one direction, then it is then the process is called monotropy. Okay. For example, another example is white phosphorus is converted into red phosphorus under certain, under certain conditions of temperature and pressure, but red phosphorus cannot be converted back to white phosphorus. So the process is called a monotropy. So we have seen today what is uh, freezing mixture, what are the uses of freezing mixture, what is polymorphism, what is allotropy. Allotropy is nothing but uh, polymorphism. If it occurs in element, then it is called uh, allotropy. Okay, transition temperature and the differences between enantiotropy and uh, monotropy. Okay, thank you for watching.